Space travelers surround me Hark now to the ballad of Rockin' Robin Hood I may well confound you, astound you, spellbound you With heroes and villains, the bad and the good Watch now as our rockets race here from afar For now with our Robin we live on a star Supreme ruler of all national outer planetary terrestrial territories has paid a surprise visit to the Sheriff of Knott. Imbeciles, dolts. How long did you expect me to tolerate such stupidity? You call yourself a sheriff. Why, a man with half a brain would have rid the universe of this rocket Robin Hood nuisance eons ago. And I have brought just such a man with me. Guilty, I hereby appoint you Lord High Sheriff of Knott. Your wish is my command, my prince, and I vow to pursue my duties with every last ounce of... Ah, quiet. Y yes, my prince. You mean I'm no longer sheriff? But what am I to do? I never learned a trade. In fact, I never even... Have no fear, simpleton. I have plans for you. You will serve as an example of how I deal with incompetence. You will be executed in the morning to the dungeon with him. Executed? Me? But that can't be. You can't do this to me. <laughs> well, you? Shouldn't you be about the business of capturing Rocket Robin Hood and his band of cutthroats? Quite right, my prince. I'll get started right away. Upon my word of honor, I will not rest until I have every last outlaw in the dungeon. They will rue the day that I became your sheriff. I will show Rocket Robin Hood quickly enough that he is no match for... In the time you have spent talking about it, you could have done it. Go! Immediately, my prince. A good fight, Will Scarlet. But you must always be alert for an opponent's secret weapon, especially one so obvious as Friar Tuck's paunch. I resent that, Robin. I'm not fat. I'm just pleasingly plump. Well, Friar, it would appear that you're trying to please too many people. Robin, one of our spies has sent word from Nod headquarters. It's about time something happened. It was getting a bit boring around here. You won't find this boring. Prince John has arrested the sheriff. He's to be executed in the morning. Is this the way Prince John rewards his loyal servants? He says it's the sheriff's reward for his blundering. Well, I suppose the man does have a point there. Yes, when it comes to blundering, our sheriff is a master. Still, I'm going to hate to see the old boy go. It would be too much trouble to break in a new sheriff. I intend to see that he doesn't go. Little John, come with me. The rest of you, wait here. We'll return by morning with a guest. get the sheriff out of the castle alive. Then we've got to figure out a way to make him a hero so that he'll get his job back. The sheriff? A hero? That won't be easy. I know. But when you have so little to work with, the challenge is that much greater. Shall we walk? After you. What are they doing down there, Robin? Constructing a platform. 
A stage for the execution. What for? To give the audience a better view of the victim as the cosmic disintegration ray hits him. Prince John always did have a flair for showmanship. And that gives me an idea. Do you suppose you could find us a pair of guard uniforms? Won't take a minute. And for mine, pick out a fellow with a good tailor. The last one you borrowed for me was Baggy. Right. I've got two weeks leave coming to me. I thought... Hey, Robin, wake up. Here's your new suit. Uh, how did it go? No trouble. Yours looks pretty good, but I never seem able to find my size. I must check out the cosmic disintegration beam and make sure it's zeroed in on the center of the platform. Look alive, you men. Get a move on. Yes, sir, Sheriff. In order to be sure, I have to reduce the torque by 10 degrees, then adjust for centrifugal force. Remind me to compliment Friar Tuck on this mini laser beam. It's going to be one of his most useful inventions. That should do it. Do you think you'll be able to pull this section out from below? That? With one hand. Good. Now, all we have to do is borrow one of not small spacecraft, conceal it beneath this platform, then wait for tomorrow's festivities. When I imagine the sheriff will drop in. I beg you, Prince John, spare me. I've always been a loyal sheriff. In a few minutes, you'll be a few ounces of loyal carbon. Prepare to fire. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Blast off, little John, before we have more visitors. Well, there's a clever escape. It certainly was. I mean, you're a fool. Why did you let him get away? We'll do something. Yes, sir. Guards. Guards! Rocket Robin Hood has succeeded in rescuing his arch enemy, the Sheriff. But can he really make him a hero? of outer planetary space is new Sherwood Forest Asteroid. Fantastic headquarters of that swashbuckling cosmic highwayman of the 30th century, Rocket Robin Hood. Yes, here comes the one and only Rocket Robin Hood, gliding through galaxies in his search for star-shattering adventure. The interplanetary villains quiver in their space boots when they hear the merry ring of his laughter and feel the blast of his mighty electro quarterstaff. Rocket Robin Hood, fun-loving astral adventurer in the astonishing years to come. Rocket Robin Hood, the happy outlaw of outer planetary space, is a direct descendant of Robin Hood of old. He's fast, with a joyful laugh, a ready jest, and a quiver full of futuristic arrows Robin robs from the cosmic rich to give to the astral pool. He's fun. He's fantastic. Robin Hood, merriest of the merry men in the astounding year 3000. Robin and Little John have pulled off a daring rescue of the condemned sheriff and have taken him unconscious to Sherwood Asteroid, where he is in for a rude awakening. Oh, no. 
Rocket Robin Hood, why didn't you let me be disintegrated? Prince John is not going to deny me the privilege of your execution. Let me at him, Robin. No, little John. We'll hold him prisoner until I can think of a more interesting way to do away with him. Why me? Why does it always happen to me? Take him to the dungeon. Right. Now, there's a man who needs a vacation. His nerves are shot. What's our next move, Robin? Do you think the prince would be displeased with his new sheriff if someone were to uh, borrow the crown jewels from under his nose? His dearest possessions. I'm sure Prince John would be quite put out. Here's what I had in mind. We let word leak to the castle that we're planning a raid. We'll give them the exact time so that they'll have all the guards prepared for the battle and out of my way. While the rest of you crack a few heads in the courtyard, I'll make off with the jewels, then signal retreat. But they'll get suspicious right away if there's no Rocket Robin Hood leading us. I thought of that. We'll need an extra man wearing my clothing. An extra man? Hmm. Who? Me? Of course, the trousers will have to be let out a good bit. Oh, no, I couldn't possibly make it tonight. I have a roast in the atomic cooker. Come along. You need exercise. But I have a better idea. You lead the man, Robin, and I'll steal the jewels. But then we never see you again. Three cheers for Giles, our new leader. Here is the floor plan of the castle. The vault is clearly marked, but the entrance is sealed by a nuclear magnet. It's impossible to open. Then I'll have to make another entrance. I'll take a one-man rocket. The rest of you take the nuclear saucer and mount the astral shield on it so that you can evade their ground fire on the way in. I'd feel safer if you took Little John along. Nope. You'll need him more than I will. When I return, I'll be the richest man in the galaxy. Anyhow, we overheard them say that they would attack in 15 minutes. Rocket Robin coming here? By the gray ghost of Mars, he'll regret it. He's playing right into my hands. Attention, all guards. Activate to astral radio scanner. Battle stations, repair the Zeta ray gun for rapid firing. Mount the thermal phosphor units and report when ready. All stratospheric and nuclear weapons ready, sir. All stations manned, sir. Reports acknowledged. Enemy sighted and engaged, sir. It's no use. They're using an astral shield. Ceasefire. According to this, the vault should be directly underneath. Retreat! The call to retreat! Back to the saucer! Sheriff, it's Rocket Robin Hood. What? Who? Rocket Robin Hood? You're sure? Positive, sir. To the dungeon with him. My prince, I am privileged to report that I have succeeded in capturing Rocket Robin Hood. You captured Rocket Robin Hood? Are you sure? Oh, at the moment, he is in the dungeon. I ushered him in there myself. Well, perhaps I was mistaken about you, Sheriff. <laughs> what? Impossible. Oh, no. No, no. What is it? Oh, n nothing. Uh, nothing, my prince. Uh, Something has gone wrong. What? Just a minor mishap, my prince. Prince, uh, I'll see to it right. I I demand to know what has happened. Well, my prince, you see, my prince, uh, it, it, it's this way, my prince. I Will you stop my princing me? Tell me what has happened. The crown jewels have been stolen. My crown jewels. The ones in the impregnable vault. Stolen. I'll have your head. But I could not help it. I was busy capturing Rocket Robin Hood. Oh, yes. Rocket Robin Hood, he's behind this. But this time, he'll pay dearly for his treachery. Our disintegration tower won't go to waste after all. Prepare his execution for tomorrow morning. With great pleasure, my prince. And prepare your own for the day after. 
First, I want to see Rocket Robin Hood turn to a little heap of carbon. Is poor Giles going to bear the brunt of Prince John's vengeance? Will he be the first to taste the disintegration ray? member of Rocket Robin Hood's band is Little John, the brawniest spaceman ever to rocket through the cosmos in the fantastic years to come. This Goliath of the galaxies has the might of a cosmic Hercules, the brute force of an unleashed meteor, combined with a truly super weapon, the Electro Quarterstaff. Little John, whose great strength is tempered with a simple, good-hearted kindness toward all living things. Mightiest of Rocket Robin Hood's merry men in the amazing years to come, Little John. When the problems of Rocket Robin Hood call for heavy thinking, then it's time for the one and only Friar Tuck to come to the rescue. Some, like the wicked sheriff of Knott, think him fat, foolish, and not worth worrying about. But don't you believe it. Friar Tuck, whose courage is as tremendous as his appetite, is just one of the astounding space characters in the merry band of Rocket Robin Hood in the fantastic years to come. Castle, Rocket Robin Hood makes off with the crown jewels. But Giles, mistaken for Robin, is captured. And now must face Prince John's wrath. Poor Giles. I should have counted heads before you close the hatch. You count? Well, you should have let me go back for him. Our astral shield was evaporating. We'd have been picked off before we got within a light year of the place. Don't blame yourself, Little John. The prince always puts off executions until morning. That gives us several hours to get Giles out of there. Friar, while Little John and I go after Giles, you and Will execute part three of our plan. Right. We let the sheriff escape with the jewels for a heroic return to Nott. Knowing the sheriff, we'll probably have to help him escape. Let's be on our way, little John. Oh, fate, why have you been so cruel? Just came to wish you a pleasant night's sleep, sheriff, since it might be your last. By the way, we relieved your prince of the crown jewels. I thought this might be a good place for safekeeping. Since uh, you're not going anywhere, you can keep an eye on them for us. The crown jewels? Oh, I'm tired. I think I'll join all the others in a sound sleep. If only I could escape. I could return the jewels to Prince John and regain his good graces. Escape. Now, let's see. There must be a way out of here. I suppose I should have handed it to him. I don't suppose it could be for the... No, that's too much to hope for. Still, it's worth a try. Oh, those careless fools! The dungeon hasn't been built that can hold me! Now to get myself and the jewels back to Prince John.
The fool is heading straight for the cliff. Use the remote control computer quick. The man's an idiot. Phew. Helping him escape was far more difficult than stealing the jewels. I wonder how Robin is doing. This way, little John. Oh, oh, the dungeon is this way. So it is. But I have an amusing idea. This must be the sheriff's room. What are you going to do to him? I thought he'd sleep better in the dungeon. I guess he would. Hey, hey, wake up, Colty. Uh, uh, who, uh, you, what? Wake up. Time to go to sleep. Pardon me, sir. I've come for my cook. Robin, am I glad to see you. But how did you... Later, Giles. Change clothes with our friend Quilty here and we'll be off. It's almost on. about it, my lord. I leaped into the rocket ship, and here I am, with this. Sheriff of not, I am in your debt. Sheriff, Sheriff, you call me Sheriff. Does that mean? Precisely. Not only that, but you will be guest of honor at Rocket Robin Hood's execution. Rocket Robin Hood? But how? We finally captured the scoundrel last night. Come, we must not keep him waiting. <laughs> Bring on the prisoner. Let go of me! I tell you, I'm the sheriff! You? Yes, my prince. Get him out of here. Get him out of this galaxy. I'll disintegrate every one of you if he's ever permitted within a million light years of me again. Temper, temper, Prince John. Rock and Robin Hood. At your service. Might I suggest that in the future you not make any changes in personnel without consulting me? It will save us both a great deal of trouble. Shoot him! Capture him! Destroy him! Just a minute. Since you have no one left to execute, I think you have no further use for your stage. Shoot him down, you fools! enemy of Rocket Robin Hood is the cruel space tyrant Prince John, despot ruler of the National Outer Space Terrestrial Territories. With the help of the wicked Sheriff of Knott, the Black Prince plans for that terrible day when he will destroy and conquer the entire solar system. Well, he might, if it were not for Rocket Robin Hood. Rocket Robin Hood, outlaw defender of right in the astounding years to come. <laughs> Sound the horn in every astral plane to rally round a 
merry men, we stand with Robin to the end. The joys of freedom to 